Hello, hello, this is KMB Comer, and welcome to episode 54 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft. And in today's episode, I want to get as much done on this equestrian area as I possibly can. So right now, I'm digging out this area for the uh, return path for all the horses I'm testing. And, uh, you know, it's quick. It's quick with the... With the the haste beacon it is quick I know I've showed this before but man I, I can't recommend highly enough that uh, that people try to get themselves a haste beacon for digging I mean you know you could just go in a straight line digging around kind of in a circle like this is kind of my technique and it is just unbelievably fast the instant mining so yeah I'm working on digging out this path we'll have it come you know you run down there uh, test the horse, come back along this route here, and then I think we'll have a staircase going up here, and then this whole area, this gigantic area, almost all of it I want to dedicate to building, um, like, pens, holding pens for horses. So, uh, we're gonna have a lot of room for that, and with the improvements I've made to my my automatic design. I think we can squeeze in a lot of nice automatic ones. I haven't decided yet if I want to go with uh, with the fully auto ones or uh, the semi-automatic without the water. Um, the fully auto is nice. It takes a lot more resources. It might be might be worth it though. We'll see. But um, yeah, it's 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 come along. So this digging it goes quick almost done here um, so I'm gonna finish up here get some dirt in place get the grass growing put in some lights and then uh, we'll get to work on some other stuff up top well I've got the tunnel dug out and I'm working on uh, you know closing it in making it look nice I got a similar kind of design here as I had down there and uh, you know, we're just keeping it simple, nothing too fancy. On a project like this, um, you know, I gotta kind of remind myself of the the scope, the um, the goal of the project, and try to keep uh, stave off the scope creep. It's something you gotta you gotta be wary of sometimes. Um, scope creep, of course, is when you know you have certain certain requirements set out for a project you're working on uh, be it in Minecraft or in business or you know if you're a programmer anything like that and you just can't resist adding features and adding features and eventually the project gets so huge that it's unmanageable so ju just gotta keep myself in check on this one um, it was never supposed to be you know a gigantic fancy build like um, one of the other buildings around here like it's not supposed to be like the Calgary Tower or like 14 Wall Street which uh, you know really huge builds that um, either took a long time to finish or I'm still working on this building it's got uh, you know two goals really it's got to store my horses and I need to be able to use it to test horses. So beyond that, uh, everything else is just gravy. So I'm just making it look, you know, reasonably nice. But, uh, you know, keep it in check. So I think this is looking good. The lighting bugs up there don't bother me much. I think it actually kind of looks... It, it, it can do something for the look. Like, uh, you know, up here... It's dark all along the top here, um, you know, all along here. I don't know, it kind of almost looks like it's trimmed out on purpose like that. So not bothering me with that. I'm um, using half slabs on the ceiling to save on materials because this is an awful lot of oak wood. But, uh, you know, that's how I wanted to make it look. So it's got to be done, got to harvest it, and hmm, no way through here. I wonder if there's something I can do here. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
trying to see if there's a any good way to make like um kind of a man door through here at intervals or something mm. well you know what it's not that necessary only important while I'm building it it's gonna be you know the whole building is about horses so yeah I think this will be fine so I've just been uh, planting trees up here cutting them down as I go but I'm gonna need a lot more than I've been getting got this staircase in place think it's looking good so this will be the return path up here and yeah I've been planting some trees here I've cut down most of them missed a block there I, I swear recently in uh, I guess maybe the last patch I swear they changed the way um, big trees generate like they just look a little bit different when they're growing but uh, <laughs> it's not really that important um, so yeah I got a lot more harvesting of oak to do here um, so I'm gonna get back on that I'm gonna keep building keep plugging away and we'll try to get as much done on this as we can today and I want to get to installing some stalls too so I'm gonna keep working okay I'm just uh, finishing up gathering some materials here some more oak and yeah I, I used a you know very advanced strategy for collecting these oak logs that I have a lot of now so first thing you do is you gotta find a wide open grassy area like I have here and then you get your saplings put them on your bar and you just start spamming them everywhere and uh, yeah you just put out as many as you have all over the place and then you wait for a day or two minecraft day or two day night cycle and then you come and look at it and you look at it and you curse a few times and you say man am I stupid look at all these gigantic oak trees I have to cut down now and then you cut them down and then you got your wood so that that's uh you know that's my tip of the day for getting a lot of wood a lot of uh, a lot of oak wood logs and planks so yeah I've been working here um, got a lot of this done um, getting some more done down here uh, like I said I was just chopping the last bits um, I needed to widen this and I need to put in the lamps yet I actually had uh, slightly messed this up it was a little bit um, too narrow here yeah it was too narrow and uh, the reason is I forgot to oh yeah, I'm far enough away I don't get the jump boost there uh, the reason it was too narrow is that I forgot to account for the lane on the side to run down so uh, had to add that in so um, hmm. am I gonna add one two three am I gonna add this here I'm not sure wait something doesn't look right here did I not make this wide enough I didn't oh I gotta widen this by one more uh, okay close these back up uh, yeah so I actually wanted to answer a couple questions I see in the comments a lot uh, the first one is are you Canadian regarding you know asking me if I'm Canadian and uh, where I live in Canada and the answer is yes I am Canadian and um, I live in the city where this is I live in Calgary Calgary Alberta that's the Calgary Tower it's a landmark in the city although at one time it was the tallest building in Calgary by a long shot and now it's like third or fourth and it's going down the list there's a lot of skyscrapers being built in the city but it's still very recognizable uh, yeah so I've lived in Calgary my whole life um, born and raised and yeah so yeah I am Canadian and hopefully that answers the question for people in the comments another one I see a lot let's see what was I working on oh yeah I needed to go dig well maybe I'll lay out some more wood first because I got so much in my inventory another question I see quite often is uh, 
you know, I, I've seen the comments, so, you know, NASA wants their supercomputer back or just asking what kind of computer I use. And uh, the answer to that is that I have a computer I built myself. Um, it's fairly new, and now I'm trapped. It's fairly new. Um, let's go around. Uh, I built it, I don't know, um, six, eight months ago. Maybe it's more than that now. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, got a Core i7 3770K. That is the um, the overclockable one. So it's got the unlocked multipliers. Man, it's been a long time since I I had to look at the uh, specs for my computer. So I'm trying to remember everything I got. Uh, so yeah, that's the processor. I have it overclocked to like 4.3 gigahertz or something. I, I can't remember exactly, but uh, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, my video card is a GTX... Oh, it's a 670. Yeah, it's a 670. It's a nice one. It was, uh, you know, second... It was one down from the fastest you could get at the time, but uh, cost effectiveness, it was probably the best choice. Um, and then, you know, various other parts, uh, those are the m most important ones. And of course, I got 16 gigs of RAM in this machine. Um, that's for the benefit of vi video editing and stuff. I could have put in 32 gigs, but I didn't feel like that was. Uh, important to have that much and I haven't uh, I haven't felt limited yet by the RAM in it so that's that for recording software I exclusively use DX story um, I bought a license when I started the LP back in January and uh, I'm very happy with it I recommend it highly um, I'm not saying Fraps is bad, but uh, it's just the one I've been using, so... Um, yeah, the, the, one of the big reasons I really like it is that uh, my mic is very cheap. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like um, a Zalman little clip-on mic. It's meant to be used with their headsets. Uh, I just kind of wrap it around my neck. And off we go, and, uh, you know, I can't use Mic Boost with it because it gets way too distorted, so my recordings are very, very quiet uh, by default. The baseline recording is very quiet. Uh, so then with DX Story, you can split out the audio stream, so I split out uh, my voice recording and the game sounds separately, and then um, I can adjust the volume of my mic against the game sounds, bring it way up, and that is the only way I'm audible in the recordings. Um, and then after I split out the sounds, I bring everything into Adobe Premiere. I have uh, the Creative Suite. Uh, yeah, it's no, it's Production Production Suite. That's the video editing suite. Uh, I have the premium version of that thanks to um, a friend I know who works for Adobe. That was a very, very, very good deal. Um, <laughs> there's no way I could have afforded to use Adobe products without getting that deal from him. Um, so yeah, I, I use Premiere Pro for editing, and I don't use a lot of the features in it, but, um, you know, I think, I think the end product comes out pretty good, so... That is the answer, the long rambling answer to a couple questions I see quite a bit. Um, and let's see, how is this looking? I, you know, I'm kind of working on the bottom floor here, getting all this in place. That's looking pretty good, I think. And uh, then there's going to be a floor. Well, there's going to be walkways on top of this area, I think. All the stables will be down there. And I'll have some things on top of the speed test tunnel here, I think. So, still got to work those details out, but, uh, well, the wood supply is holding up pretty well. I'm going to keep working, and uh, then I think we'll lay out some stables when, uh, when we come back.
Well, I got a whole bunch more placing of wood done. Got uh, all the roof ceiling part done all over here. There'll be something on top of here. I don't know what yet. We'll work that out, but um, yeah, it's looking looking pretty good, I think. Um, well, I didn't quite finish this back wall, looks like. Oh well, uh, moving on to the stalls here. Oh yeah, I got that wall done. Um, yeah, I've laid out some stuff here. It doesn't look like much right now. It looks like a whole bunch of just um, random bo blocks, or not random, but uh, doesn't look like much, but here's here's how it's working. So we're, we have, uh, let's see, ground level is here for the inside. Yeah, so what we have here is we have a three wide path that's going to run all the way down here and we'll use some nice indoor grass here as well. And that comes, let's see, all the way down to, we'll just run one line down here to here, yeah. Uh, so we come here and... Oh, I gotta extend the stairs upwards some more. Um, yeah, this will work out. Oh, actually, no, we're gonna have problems with the stairs here, aren't we? Hmm. Because I wanted, you know, flat landing at the top, and I'm gonna have the same issue over here. I didn't consider that I needed the floor to be higher. Well, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, change things. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but over here, my plan was to have one, two, three, four, five, six stalls with the full auto dismount. So we can store six horses here with that feature. Um, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, and then uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 more spots for horses, and then right here, uh, in this box here, hope you could see that, I was going to put uh, a special stall for the horses that I'm currently breeding. But, uh, hmm, now <laughs> I have to go change a bunch of stuff. Man, I can't believe I missed that. Okay, I'm going to get to work on fixing that. Oh, Okay, yeah, so we uh, we still have it like that, and then we need some stairs. I'll make a whole bunch. Uh, oh, I had some. Ooh, we're doing well here. Okay, so we bring this up two more. Yeah. Okay, that's... Well, we'll make it work, but... Uh, Okay, so I gotta have a landing here instead. And then well, I guess we'll have a three wide path going straight down here. Okay, I'm gonna get to work on figuring this out. Okay, I fixed my problem and I went uh, further this time, got a bunch done. I'm gonna put one grass here and it's spreading from the other side. Let's take a look at what I've laid out. You can see I went further than I did last time. So this right here is where the door to the building will be. It's in the center uh, laterally from way over at that side all the way over there. And we can go higher even. So yeah, we're in the doorway. I, I extended the building a couple extra blocks in this uh, easterly direction because it wasn't quite big enough to fit the paths and this layout of uh, stalls and that sort of thing. So you can see what we got here. We have the uh, fully auto stalls right here. These will have the water shooting out and then dismounting you automatically. So we got one, two, I'm counting between each two wide gap and not the one wide. This will be the front of these things. We got one, two, three, four, five, Wait a second, did I make a mistake down there again? What have I done? 
Hmm, something looks off down at the end. Yeah, I think I, <laughs> I think I made another error, but uh, I'll go take a look at that after. We have five here, and then these are not fully auto stalls, so we need uh, eight blocks to get the fully auto in. So this is a little bit wider down to this path here. And then here we can fit in nine. We can fit stalls back to back if we get rid of the water circuitry. So we got one, two, three, four, five ish. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So there, it's going to be over 20 horse stalls in here. I think that's pretty good. Maybe we'll put more down there. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I think things are looking pretty good here, except for. Apparently I made another mistake, errors in this episode today, but uh, see I got the lights laid out, all the dirt is where the paths are going to be through this place, so the grass is spreading, and uh, yeah, I just kind of, you know, fit the paths to the building, so it's a little bit, I, I guess it's atypical the way I went about this building, I got a, an approximate size I needed, and then I started shoving stuff in there, and then I, uh, you know, to to make the functional part of the testing setup, and then, uh, you know, I started, I did the paths, and then I, I formed the paths around the stalls, so it's kind of like we started with form for the overall shape, and then we shoved in some function, and then we did some more function, and then we molded some form around that, so, I don't know, it's, uh, kind of a non-linear way of going about designing it but I think it's all going to work out pretty nicely so I'm gonna get to work on hitting some redstone here and then uh, we'll be back well apparently I need a slime farm because I am completely out and uh, came over to Rom's place here and let's do this here I owe you one stack of slime balls. KMB Comb. KMB Comer, I can type my name. There we go. Okay, so I'm heading back now. I, I don't know, has he done anything around here? Uh, this looks a little different. Here's a beacon. I, uh, I think I gifted that one to him. I'm not sure. Huh, interesting. Wonder what his plans are here. Is this, this hmm neat? What's he got in here? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Nothing to steal. Just kidding. No, this looks a uh, nice start to something. Hmm, interesting. I hadn't seen this yet. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's head back. But on the way, I'm gonna talk about something. So. This episode is going to go out uh, on a schedule, I think, hmm, what's today? Today is early Friday morning, might put this out Saturday or Sunday, and then the next three or four episodes after that will be while I'm, uh, I'm away on vacation, so um, yeah, going to my family cabin in Manitoba. Um, on a lake, golf course right there. It's really nice, so uh, I'm going to spend some time there. And, uh, yeah, so trying to get some episodes recorded before I leave so that they can go out, um, you know, while I'm away. Uh, I'm doing my best, but we'll see how many I can get done. I'm trying to get three more done after this one. I think that would be a good number. Uh, it's going to be a tall order, but... Uh, I'll do what I can. Um, so that's that. I'm gonna make these sticky pistons now that I got some slime balls. Where'd the horse go? Wow, weird. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make some sticky pistons up and then I'm um, gonna get some redstone work done. But just telling you about uh, what's gonna be going on for the next, oh, 10, 11 days or so. So, uh, yeah, see you in a minute. Alright, so I'm getting in the uh, pistons and the blocks for the tripwire hooks here. It's pretty smooth, easy going, so we're just kind of looking at this. Um, 
so yeah the uh, the tripwire hooks go here and here on e either side of the piston and we got them on both sides and then that comes down to oh I got some here and we just put uh, oh, come on oh I oh I do have dust okay get some dust on here like this and we need some redstone torches Whew, I'm really full here um, <laughs> okay put some dirt away yeah don't need that and I don't need the lamps right now okay let's make some torches uh, yeah we're gonna need a, a lot of these probably yeah here we go here we go alright yeah and like so so yeah we come down when that's extended it'll power that and yeah this is right and then we'll have the floor right here and that will power some dust down below it and I have the gates I like it on the left so we'll do two whoops two blocks here like that and then here we'll do one of these and here another uh, dust with a torch and dust there and that's the uh, oops and torch there and that's the end gate so yeah you can see it'll only trigger the gate when both of those are on yeah this is right this is right so these ones are gonna be uh, you know the simple the simple ones without the uh, the water circuitry so just following a pattern really and this should go pretty quick so I'll get these set up and maybe I'll finish like a row of these uh, I didn't do that right a row of these before I'll ah, we'll just leave it like that before we end the episode here um, so I'll get on that and then we'll finish up well we're just about out of time for this episode but uh, I got one you know two, two rows of stalls done and in place so all these and down this other side but uh, I realized that I didn't like I've already fixed these ones but I didn't like how far back the gate was so I I put in a, a little fix on one side and let's uh, let's fix this side I'll show you uh, what I did so first I just uh, cleared out a whole line right here all this that's enough and then I went like this and cleared out didn't need that one gone whoops go like this under underneath each of these uh, ones with the two torches on either side and then leave the one beside this like that and like that and keep going like that and I'll knock out all this stuff like this knock that out these did I get everything yeah knock that out knock that off take this redoing a whole bunch of stuff it's not too bad though uh, knock these off uh, this one undoing undo undo this one <laughs> all the way down get rid of all this stuff uh, yeah this too that and that and that and that okay and now we just move it over here instead so torch there like this torch on the front now and same thing here so we're actually saving torches which is uh which is nice so like that and it'll work exactly the same it just will uh Put the gate one block further out so I'll just finish this up here like that right here like that 
and bring that down on here. Uh, this this whole thing wasn't too bad to do the redstone for as long as you do it. Uh, well, I kind of went like ground up and uh, you know started at the bottom, worked my way up, filling in big sections of blocks as I went. So um, you know, do all of one kind. Whoops, all the all the different. Uh, stuff of one one uh, procedure over and over like do all this underneath stuff and then put in all the pistons something like that I guess I started with pistons but um, okay that should be done down there and now we can just go along here and take these uh, gates out and move them right under the tripwire here like that and like that like that and that gives uh, two and a half blocks the way I have it set up here with these fences at the back and then I decided to light it up with glowstone at the back so it shares between the two stalls and just stairs underneath uh, two, you can do this too if you want uh, if you want to have the stairs look like a full block you can go like that and then you know if you have um, like half slab roof or something you can't really see it. You have to look pretty hard to be able to see that, uh, yeah, that there's a stair instead of a full block there. So that's one option for you if you want to hide that. Oh, good. Now I've lost my string. Uh, like that. And break this. And we'll put it back this way. But I'm just going with it like this. Yeah, I like the way it looks. So let's get the rest of these replaced further out. That looks a lot better with it. That donkey looked a little cramped in there. Okay, that looks more comfortable. Oh, server's restarting, so I better wrap this up. But uh, I'm going to grab all the donkeys from here. But we'll get the horse, and we'll take them over and put them in one of those stalls. This is uh, the second fastest horse we have, I think. I brought him over here because <laughs> I died and I still had my spawn set out at the uh, at the old horse area and um, this was the best one that was there my guy in the diamond armor is still over by the Calgary Tower and so I brought this guy so we can just ride him in here oh <laughs> oh no that Hmm. Jeez, I didn't think of that. Well, darn. I'm gonna have to fix that. Huh. I can't get far enough forward to hit the tripwire. I didn't test this fix. Well, uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to fix it for next time. Uh, we're out of time for today, but I hope you enjoyed this episode derp ups and all and we'll see you guys next time